Alright, I cannot tell you how excited I am to make this video because I have been waiting for the longest for this thing to finally launch in the US. I follow Catrice and they just launched their Soft Glam Filter Fluid. If you're looking at this and you're like, gee, that looks like this. The words are totally worn off. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, Halo Glow, Flawless, oh, Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Yes, same exact concept. So, we're gonna do a swatch comparison. I'm gonna put this on. I did use it yesterday, and I will say, spoiler alert, this is freaking fantastic. It's amazing, and it's 10 bucks. You can get it on Amazon. So, that being said, let's just get into it. I apologize, I know I'm just like, whatever. Like I literally got this in the mail because I ordered it through Amazon and I was like, I gotta go film this like now for you guys. I am gonna do swatches. I'm not gonna put these on my face. This is about two years old and this is like pre-pandemic. So it's, it's old. This one smells funny. This one kind of smells funny. I'm not putting it on my face. I will swatch on my hands to kind of compare it though because I know you're gonna wanna see swatches. Don't mind me, I'm just drinking some coffee. Second cup of the day, I was getting tired. You're like, whatever, Anna, just get those swatches. Okay, so uh, Charlotte Tilbury, I wanna say it runs about in the 40s, like upper 40s, I don't remember how much. I will put the price in like I usually do. Let's do a swatch. I have it in shade four. I like the shade. The one thing I will say about Charlotte's flawless filter is it has a tendency to kind of pull a little metallic tin man you can shear it down and use it on like your face all over to kind of give you a little bit of a glow totally this is the elf one elf is $15 and this one's in shade three I had other shades I can like um, put a card in the video you can click on it to see I got rid of those. I kept this one. I don't know why I kept this one because this is not even my shade. Very peachy. And then now for what I think is the better dupe for Charlotte, it's the Catrice Soft Glam Filter. I want to say it probably has the same amount, same amount of shades as the Halo Glow. You just have to go on, on the website. You can order it from their actual website. They have pretty much everything. I don't remember what Amazon has, but... I went down like a rabbit hole of swatches to find my swatch and I got shade 20 light medium. I'm going to swatch this one here. They all have the exact same kind of packaging. It's a bottle, glass bottle, nice, and doe foot applicator. So let's look at these swatches. Charlotte, Halo, and Catrice. So when I turn, you can see, hang on, hopefully it's focusing on my hand and not my face. You can see the glow. This is Charlotte Tilbury. It's definitely more metallic. The Halo Glow is not as metallic. I would say it's a little more wearable, but finding your shade is a little bit hard. And this is the Catrice. I'm going to blend them out so you can see them a little bit better. I'm gonna remove some of that halo glow because I swatched way too much on my hand. And then the Charlotte again. Can you guys see that? Charlotte, halo, Catrice. If you hear that loud wind, I apologize, but. So I still feel like Charlotte is very metallic-y. I mean, these products you could mix in with foundation, moisturizer, whatever you want, but I'm just giving you like the, because I know somebody's gonna ask like which one's the most natural looking. I really do think that the Catrice one is the most natural looking. So if you wanna wear it on bare face without a foundation, I think you're gonna like it. The Halo one has more coverage. Those definitely have more coverage. They do kind of cater to different undertones, which I think is good. But I remember, you know, if you're super fair, it may not work for you. They do have lighter shades in the Catrice. I do remember seeing that. Charlotte Tilbury is the OG. I don't remember how many shades it is, but you can see in the swatch, it's definitely more metallic. So, 
All right, let's put this guy on my face. Like I said, I apologize. I'm not putting these on because they're super old and I am not trying to get like a rash or anything like that. <laughs> so here she is again. This is the Catrice Shade 20 Light Medium. Super pretty. I mean, this is like, it looks very much like the Halo one. Pretty much the exact same packaging and everything. All right, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put it all over my face to show you how it looks because I do believe that you can wear this one on its own. And I'm just gonna go in with my fingers. That's the color. So it looks pretty like dark when you first, like I'm putting it on, but it blends out very nicely. So this is gonna give you sort of like a soft, glowy kind of filter. So see what I mean? The glow is, it's there, but it's not metallic, it's not Tin Man. So those of you who, you know, you want it to like Charlotte, but you're like, it's just too much for like bare skin, this is perfect. This is literally like a glowy tint. So, also it feels very moisturizing, which I like. You can probably get this um, formula in a darker shade if you wanted to kind of give yourself like a little bronzy glow. I think that would work really nice. So this is lightweight. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the L'Oreal uh, Glotion. It does dry down, it doesn't stay sticky, but you see how like on my forehead there's a really nice glow. Now in the past when I've used Halo or Charlotte Tilbury, it's always been like super dewy, or not dewy, super like metallic-y. Um, I like this one a lot. I like it very much. Yeah, see to me like this, I feel like I can go out. It's not overly dewy, shiny or anything like that. Or, but again, I like a good glow. I'm okay with this. Um, it's really nice. I think you guys need to try it out. I'm gonna do another video where I'm gonna put foundation on because I want to review this guy. This is also from Catrice. And I will pop this over, or maybe insert it into this video and kind of show you how it looks to put it over foundation. So I am taking it on my finger. You can see that pretty bounce. And I'm gonna pop it on my cheek. And it just gives the skin this really hydrated glow. I think if you were to ask me, okay, should I do Halo? Should I do Catrice? I am going to tell you to do Catrice if you like something more natural. Totally up to you, but this, I am digging it. Whoops, all right, so, because it does look really beautiful. So it all really depends on the kind of glow you're looking for. If you want OG, like, no, I want to be glowing no matter where I am, no matter what lighting, you can't go wrong with Charlotte. And then if you don't want to spend Charlotte money, which is totally fine because I'm trying to budget myself, go for e.l.f. It's a little more dewy than this. I don't know if any, if you guys want me to revisit this guy to compare it, let me know, comment down below, I'll pick up another one. Um, and then we can do like a nice head to head comparison. But, I mean, look, it's dried down. Charlotte, Halo, Catrice. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I will see you in my next one.